Hey everybody, Tails here, and I got more Bull Moose Mystery Bags. In fact, I got a whole lot. In fact, um, I got like at least $80 worth of Mystery Bags. Which, yeah, it sounds like a lot, but like a lot of the uh, Mystery Bags, like the PS4 and Xbox One, were like uh, $8. I mean, I did save like some money. Like, I would have been like a whole lot more, but I used some of my points for it. So, yeah, it would have been like maybe 90 or 100 So, yeah, it's technically $80 worth of mystery bags. So basically I got uh, one PS2, um, one Wii and a Wii U. Um, I got three Xbox One, two Xbox, two Xbox 360, three PS4, and four PS3 mystery bags. So this is going to be a three-part video and for uh, each video I'm going to add up like the total for each game because uh, I, I spent $80 on the mystery bags and I want to make sure that I got my money's worth. Because who knows, maybe there's like a, a very rare game. Like, hopefully I get Wii Sports in that Wii Mystery Bag, because that would be, that would be amazing. So, uh, anyway, without any further ado, uh, starting with part one of three, I'm going to start off with the PS2 Mystery Bag. So let's see what we get. Let's see if we got our money's worth. So first up is WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 2007. I know the WWE games are worth quite a lot, so uh, at least some of them, but... Hopefully this one's worth the uh, the two ninety seven. Yeah, the bag was two ninety seven for the uh, PS two. We got NBA Street Volume two, which that's actually a really good game. I used to have that for. Uh, I used to have a Greatest Hits version of that game, so uh, yeah, that's got to be worth something. Uh, this is probably worth absolutely nothing, but um, Dance Dance Revolution Extreme. I could be wrong. Um, I know some of the DDR games aren't worth as much. Some are ten dollars, but not all of them are worth quite a lot. Next up, we have. One of my favorites, Lego Indiana Jones the Original Adventures. Uh, it's probably not worth much, but it's uh, I'm definitely going to keep that one. I love Indiana Jones. And finally, we have Dance Dance Revolution Extreme 2. Alright, so uh, that was the PS2 mystery bag. Now on to the Wii mystery bag. Let's see what we get for Wii games. We better get a Wii Sports. So we got, and I think I could tell what one of the games are, we got... Wheel of Fortune! Yay! That's probably not worth much. Next up, we got the game that I see literally everywhere, We Fit. So that's a loss. We got Call of Duty Modern Warfare, uh, the very first Modern Warfare uh, Call of Duty game for the Wii. We got uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2012. I know some of the Tiger Woods games are worth quite a lot. And finally, and I actually noticed this, but uh, Link's Crossbow Training, which uh, that's uh, that was a game that was part of the... Uh, Wii Zapper, so eh, the Wii games were kind of a. Uh, I felt like I like lost a bit on the uh, Wii games. I mean, who knows? Hopefully, one of them is at least worth my eighty dollars I spent. And now for the Wii U one, which this is gonna be the last one for uh, this video. So first up, we got Super Mario Maker, nice. Game Party Champions, Transformers: Rise of the Dark Spark. I know this isn't a great Wii game. Or, but, I mean, Transformers, can't go wrong with that, Smash Brothers for Wii U, and Mario Kart 8. Alright, so I think the Wii U one was probably the best one out of the other, like, ones I got. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, part one of three. I'm going to calculate the value of all of the games I got and uh, let you guys know how much all these games were worth. 